What's good, YouTube, man? We back with another reaction video, man. Today, got Spider-Man, the Great Web Multiplayer Spider-Man game. Or as y'all can see, all the Spider-Mans are lined up on the real. And you see the multiverses opening up. This looks fire, man. So let's go ahead and react to this video. And I'm going to tell y'all what I think. New York City. Did you know? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would like do it. for this big, beautiful apple. One moment, you're scarfing down a slice from Vinny's. The next, you're stopping a supervillain prison break. Sometimes you can swing it as a lone wolf, but you're way better off with some friends. Tough. Tough. It's tough, chat. This do look tough, chat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I think right here, man. We're 23 seconds in on the video. I'm not going to be stopping this too much because I already got everything I want to say about this game. Uh, one, um... I seen a little bit of this trailer already from TikTok, but you know, TikTok, everybody not dropping super long clips. So I haven't seen all of the trailer. That's why I'm reacting to it. And it's been going viral. So this is for the people on my side of the YouTube uh, side, you know, because everybody got to go to certain people. So this is for y'all. I'm making this for y'all. I am a Marvel fan myself. Love Spider-Man. Love everything Marvel do. Yes, I am a Marvel fan. But I love superhero games in general. I love all superhero games. Um... But this is my thing. And shout out to Jer. Shout out to Jer. He sent me this two days ago. I'm kind of late reacting to it. It's been going viral, I guess, two days ago or a little bit after, man. Shout out to Jerry for sending this to me. I wish he would have, you know, told me, like, trans, lock in on this, bro. Go go ahead and get to react to this. So we're here now, man, reacting to it. What I want to say about this game so far, um, it's super easy to make this game. I'm not going to lie. Um, you honestly would think that, right, hey, only outfit up here. That seeming different that we haven't seen before is Spider Gwen. We've seen Miles Morales in this costume in Miles Morales Spider Man game. We've seen the black Spider Man, we've seen Spider Man with the hoodie, and we've seen Spider Man 2099, right? That would be super easy because obviously, them are all characters that has already been in the game. This will be a super, okay for, super easy game for them to make because most of the moves that each spider-man do is about already the same move already so that would be that's out of the course and would it be easy i mean would it be hard for them to make this game it will not um another thing um only the hardest thing about this game would probably them paying actors to vote voice each different character in the game depending on how many characters it is and nothing i want to say about characters right that's the money grabber for me with superhero games bro that's why i did not cop the last spider-man game even though, like I said, I'm a Marvel fan, I did not cop the last Spider-Man game because I am a fan of diverse, di diversity. I like playing with multiple different characters. That's why I really liked the Marvel's Avengers, and I'm still kind of upset that they canceled Marvel's Avengers uh, because of the the lack of whatever the company was lacking in. Um, I like diversity. That's why I did not cop the last Spider-Man game. I did not cop none of the DC games, bro, because... Playing on a good map, like as you can see, the Spider-Man doing it's called the Great Web. So we all know that the Great Web is basically uh, the Spider-Man universe, right? Basically, I'm a fan of diversity rather than like having a good story. I like diversity, right? Basically, if I had to put that into other games that a lot of y'all might not be Marvel fans, y'all might like Call of Duty. That's like playing Call of Duty and... All the maps are good. The story mode is good, but there's only four guns in the game that you can play with every time. No other guns. The money grabber for a lot of people in certain games are being able to do something else in the game, right? Or something that changes compared to the last thing. So imagine there was Call of Duty where there was only four guns and no other guns in the game. Only four. Only four. Nothing else. Only four, right? You get what I'm saying? If that don't hit, this gonna hit because I post a lot of 2K content. There's probably a lot of people who play 2K who coming over to this and they also like Spider-Man game, right? Imagine playing 2K, same city, which this is what we doing, same city, same park. This is what we've been doing. The money grabber for 2K is the fact that we can make a new player a different height, different stats, and that's the money grabber. Being able to do something different than your last character is the money grabber for 2K. That's the money grabber. That's why we spend our money on 2K now. Not because the game is good. It's not because, obviously, if it was off the story of the game, yes, the multi man, story mode on 2K, my career is tough. Yes. But 
the diversity is we can make a new player. So most of the superhero games that has been dropping hasn't had any diversity. I don't really care about a good story. So this game looks like a W, but just because the game's like a W, it might not be a money grabber for me because I'm into diversity in characters. So if they was to drop a Spider-Man that was totally different in the comic books, that's way different from Miles Morales and Spider-Man, they got a whole different power set. Then that's where the money go. That's where the money grabber come in at, where they easily can just take my money. See, look, they all about do the same stuff. Everybody, every look, they got Spider Gwen doing the same spin move that Miles Morales been doing since the first Miles Morales game, and in the second game. Just, oh, whoa, it's it's a, it's different. It's a little different because how she's doing it, but it's the same like, like, it's the same like spin moves. Like they they literally doing the same moves. Seen the Sinister Six before. I saw. Never saw. Like having us play with Venom instead of going against Venom would be something that I would like. If y'all see where I'm hitting, playing with a character that's super duper different from them is tough. Like let us play with Carnage. Let us play with Venom. You know what I'm saying that would be tough. But this is tough too, though. I've seen the Sinister Six before. Never so methodical, so savage. I don't think I'm going to be enough this time, guys. Like I said, chat, this is tough. Don't get me wrong. This is tough. This will be one of the best superhero games to ever drop, ever, if this was to drop. I've heard it was the lead, it was, uh, it was an elite game that was canceled, but if they, but I was hearing, right, chat, that Asomniac is dropping, right? I seen the roadmap. Asomniac is dropping a multiplayer superhero game with multiple different characters not just spider-man i'm talking wolverine spider-man doctor strange multiple like that variety black panther like multiple different characters that's what i was hearing maybe 2026 2025 that's what i was hearing and i was hearing that there is another multiplayer game like this that is coming out and i was hearing that scarlet witch will be the opening of the multiverse or the great web or you want to call it. that's what i was hearing so this might be canceled, might be deleted, but I was hearing that it is a multiplayer Spider-Man game coming out real soon. Maybe but together, it just might be early. This will be one of the toughest games in the world, bro, when it comes to superhero games. This will be one of the toughest games in the world due to the simple fact Spider-Man names whole way. Uh, even if it's a movie, even if it's a game, that plays a big part of certain games when certain things hold weight in the game. You know what I'm saying? It plays a big part. And if y'all want me to put that towards other games, so maybe y'all can understand what I'm saying. When you put something that holds weight, an OG thing in the game, no matter if it's Call of Duty, you put OG weapons in the game, put OG maps in the game, things that people like from older Call of Duties, and it holds weight, and they put it in the newer game, that's the money grabber. Same thing for 2K. They put old stuff in the game that's classics jetpacks whatever was on 2k 17 18 19 drill moves whatever and bring it back to the newer games that's the money grabber that's what get people spending their money spider-man og character classic character name holds weight whether it's a movie that's why you see now you search up what's the most most money grabbing movie in marvel I'm pretty sure top three or top four. You ain't even gotta say Marvel. You could say superhero movie. The most most box office superhero movie. Let alone would it be, of course, Infinity War and and um Infinity War and um Endgame due to the so fact them it has all the characters in them. And right under that one, which would be the third one or the second one, would be Spider Man No Way Home. Due to the simple fact Spider Man himself holds weight. So I'm saying, so this will be the best game in the world to the world superhero game because Spider Man names hold weight a lot of weight. You a in? lot of weight. A lot of weight. That's soft though, Chuck. Together, that's soft. Ain't gonna lie. 
if I had to rate what I would think this is, Chad, I'm honestly going to give it a 10. Honestly. I think all superhero games are good, but like I say, I think diversity is the biggest thing for me. I don't really care about the story because you would get tired of playing with the characters. So, if they want this game to be amazing, if it do drop, um, add diversity. Add um, um, characters from the comic books that is way different from the characters we have been seeing. Give us a Wolverine uh, Spider-Man makes character. Give us a Hulk spider-man mixed character give us a you know give us a a mixture of different characters that's different like you know in the multiverse as we know the multiverse is very big and there's multiple different spider-mans that do different things uh you got black new york not nyor you got black nyor and when you play with him everything turns black you got um from the from the uh miles morales movie you got the horse spider-man you got the pig you got you know, you got a lot. You know what I'm saying? So give us different characters to play with instead of the same Spider-Man that we've been seeing. Like I said, four of them suits we already have seen already in Spider-Man, let alone herself. But that's going to be the end of the video. Appreciate everybody for coming out. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.